Are you folks ready What's a good beer? for something yeah. special? Woo! Yeah. 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 Okay, so here's what happened. I know some Stella. people are here tonight to see Kathy yeah. Slayman. Yeah. Woo! Kathy wasn't able to make it tonight, uh, but someone did come in her place. Um, so if you want to, please just give as much love as you can to this uh, person. Not a replacement, but kind of a replacement. Okay, we're sorry Kathy's not here, but please give it up as much as you can for Miss Calliope. Oh my God! I love this. Everybody, Kathy, Calliope, Kathy. Okay. Never mind. I leave the good thing. Hello, everybody. My name is Calliope. I come all the way from Athens. So I'd like to introduce myself. I used to be a famous personality in Greece, in Athens. I had my own television show. It was called Good Morning Athens. You invented everything. You are beautiful. I was also an astrophysicist. A dentist, a famous manicurist, and I also worked for Cirque du Soleil as a lion tamer. <laughs> you say, Mr. Lupe, but there are no lions in Cirque du Soleil. I say, I know, I brought them from my house. <laughs> so, a long time ago, I was watching a movie in, in Athens, and it was called Fifty Shades of Grey. Personally, that movie for me was Fifty Shades of Malacca. It was horrible, it was garbage. So I used to be also a sex therapist too. So I came out of retirement because the movie was so disgusting. I have to teach people about the ways of sexuality. Then they come out with an extension of the movie, Fifty Shades of Extra Malacca. Oh, 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 oh. So now it is my aim to tell everybody about sexuality. So before I get married, my mother tell me, Miss Calliope, in order for you to please your husband, you have to know the ways of the Greek lady. So she gave me the 50 plates of Greek wisdom. <laughs> oh, yes, as a sex therapist, I like to tell everybody that I advocate BDSM. I'm very much into BDSM which is baklava, D for dormades, S for spanakopita, and M for moussaka, BDSM. But I tell you, the M, I do understand, the M is masochist, right? I married five Greek men in my lifetime. I'm a very big masochist. <laughs> so I hear my plates. Walk softly and carry a big pantofola. <laughs> Any Greek person know you know it. Greek person, the mother, when she gets angry, she can throw something to you from across the room and it hits you in the head. This is a pantofola. <laughs> <laughs> My mother, she used to throw the pantofola from the kitchen. It would go all the way down the hallway who left into the living room and hit my father in the head. Then stop in midair and come back to her. She cuts the piece. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of a pantofana. <laughs> Always sneeze when your husband gets very excited. <laughs> this is the most effective form of birth control for all Greek ladies. <laughs> because in ancient times, in ancient Greece, the Amazon women, they were known for their vagina muscles. So eh, when they have the husband, he gets all excited. He's like, <laughs> you say, hey, man, wait, achoo. And all the seeds come rolling out. They push everything. And the ancient Amazon women, they had so strong muscles, they used to take their weapons and put them inside and walk across the uh, war fields. And all of the good soldiers are like, oh, look at the sexy ladies. And they look around, they go, achoo! Whoa! They take out the ball and chain, whoosh, 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 whoosh. And they die. And they put it back in again. <laughs> powerful, powerful Greek ladies. <laughs> if your husband is afraid of the back door, show him 
the basement. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, eh? You see, the prostate is such an unusual, mysterious thing that men don't like to go downstairs. So as a Greek lady, you have to show them the way. The prostate is like the temple of Poseidon. It's a mysterious, beautiful place. So take your husband downstairs and show him the temple of goodness. And you know, you learn the old way is the Greek way. Abu Pisu. <laughs> well, yes. Spank your husband three times a day. <laughs> Who wants to be spanky spanky? <laughs> Woo! You see, when you spank your husband, you show him who's boss. <laughs> the ancient Amazon ladies used to spank their husbands in the morning, at lunchtime, and before they go to bed. Because it instills in them the fighting spirit. Also, why do you think Greek men are so miserable? They get spanked all the time. It is nicer than putting X-Lux in their coffee or hiding in the remote control. <laughs> if your husband closes one ear, open the other. You tell your husband, ah, for why you don't take out the garbage? He closed one ear. Ah, for why you leave your underwear on the floor? He closed the other ear. Then you have to talk to the third ear, because the third ear in the penis is always open. Always open for business. So you hear, la de stoliado, you listen to me, malaka. Because an unhappy penis is a malfunctioning penis. <laughs> oh, I am coming close to the end of my plates. Are you like my plates? Yeah. Oh, like my plates. Okay. This one is a classic. It goes out to my Greek friends. If you do not swallow, be proud to spit. <laughs> so many ladies tell me, Miss Calliope, I don't like the taste of my husband's tzatziki. <laughs> it tastes like tzavel. It's like... <laughs> And I say, my dear, please, when you spit, you tell your husband it means good luck. Because in Greek, when you spit, do, do, it means good luck. So you're having this sexual lay with your husband in your mouth. And you go, do. It's like, oh, for why you not to take me inside? You say, oh, God, I love you and I wish you good luck. Do, do, do. <laughs> one more plate, one more. Smart. One more plate. This one I give you Greek lesson, okay? Posa kila malakes ise. Everybody, posa kila malakas ise. That literally means how many kilos of shit are you? <laughs> you, I think you, 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 67 kilos, eh? You small, you don't have a lot of shit in you. Posa. So, Kila Malakas Ise. All together? Posas Kila Malakas Ise. Opa! I felt a kick. I felt a kick. <laughs>